Remember at CES when everybody was like, Faraday Future's the new Tesla? Nah. Faraday Future was a huge hit at CES 2017 and everybody was excited for the new electric car company that might actually give Tesla a run for their money. Unfortunately, Faraday Future's bold ambitions have fallen flat due to a loss of funding. The Chinese-backed company has been building a factory in North Las Vegas, and while this factory will still see fruition, the original model for it to be 3 million square feet has actually been downgraded to 650,000 square feet. Now, I don't know how good you guys are at math, but this is a huge downgrade. Now, this is not a sign that the company is doomed by any means, but originally this factory was supposed to be able to produce 150,000 cars per year, and with the new downgraded factory, they will only be able to produce 10,000 per year. 150 to 10. That is a huge decrease in the amount of cars. While this won't be the only place that Faraday Future will be manufacturing their cars, this does mean that now the bulk of the production will come from China, which means that if you want to get a car from Faraday Future, it might cost a little bit more, if Trump has his way that is. The original factory was supposed to be completed in late 2017, but the new deadline is 2019, and keep in mind this is for the downgraded factory now. So while Faraday Future doesn't look to be doing as well as they portrayed themselves at CES 2017, what's Tesla been up to? A lot, that's about the least I can say. Tesla has been spending much of their time and money building the Gigafactory, which is 5.5 million square feet right now. So yeah, that's basically twice the size of the factory that Faraday Future had hoped to complete. But this 5.5 million square feet isn't even half of what the Gigafactory is going to be. When completed, Tesla's Gigafactory will be 13 million square feet, making it the largest building on the planet. Tesla's Gigafactory is already going to begin production on batteries, but when completed, the Gigafactory will be able to produce more lithium-ion batteries than the entire world produced in 2013. This summer, Tesla is looking to expand into India, which is the second largest country in regards to population. So really, Tesla is just getting started when it comes to expansion and advancements. And speaking of advancements, one thing Tesla did recently was shatter another world record. The new Tesla Model S P100D has set a new world record for the fastest 0 to 60 miles per hour with a time of 2.27 seconds. While there are still some cars that can technically reach 60 miles per hour faster than Tesla, this is a huge advancement for the company. And when it comes to initial acceleration, Tesla dominated because there's no need for gear shifting in an electric vehicle. So Faraday Future's future might not be looking the best, but Tesla isn't going anywhere and neither are fast electric cars. So what do you guys think? Is Faraday Future going to be able to make a comeback or is Tesla just going to continue to dominate? Let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one.